for my little this hat detail I'm gonna carry around. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I want to kind of go over some things that I just got, as you can see. This past month was a really big shopping month for me, and I got a lot of stuff that I really love. So I figured we could kick back, unbox some stuff, go through some things, talk about it, and just have a good old time. I've never filmed a haul before, so I guess this is technically my first one. And so I figured what better brand to do a haul with than one of my absolute favorites, YSL. We covered just about everything. I have clothes, I have accessories, I have shoes, even jewelry, which I guess is an accessory. So we're gonna scoot the camera back and we will jump in and start going through some stuff. All right, so let me see, you have to scoot over a bit. Don't want to sit on your tail. Excuse me. Well, as you can see, we have a friend here helping us film today. Do you want to be polite and say hello to the camera? Oh, are you sad? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Bye, Hudson. This is actually her couch most of the day, so honestly, I feel bad taking it from her. But she needs to learn how to share, honestly. All right, so we will begin with all the Saint Laurent items, then we'll go into a few from my Teresa that I got, and then in the end, we will cover some of the other items that I've purchased that I've already worn and are out of the box and everything. So we'll set these aside to make a little bit of room for us. We have two garment bags of clothing. We have we have two pairs of sunglasses. We have three accessory boxes that I honestly don't even remember necessarily exactly what they are, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. And we have one large shoe box. And I think to just get things going, we're gonna start with everyone's favorite, at least mine, and that would be the shoes. It's also the biggest box, so that's always a plus. Literally just got a knock at the door from DHL, so we will add this to the mix of everything, actually. This is an item that I have been eyeing for a while, and I'm actually really excited that it made it in time for this video. Okay, back to the shoes. As you can tell from the size of this box, they are rather large shoes. Let's dive in. There's nothing I love more than the sound of tissue paper. Okay, so these are already out of their dust bags because I actually did take them out on the town one night. So these are the Rainer patent leather boot in this beautiful like cherry plum red. I'm very, very obsessed with these shoes or boots. I don't know if it's disrespectful to boots to be called shoes, but these boots, let me tell you, I don't think I've ever received so many compliments on a shoe before. I popped these on Instagram and I mean, people were going off on them. I can obviously see why because they are obviously so beautiful but i've never in my life received so many compliments so like i said these are the patent leather version you can see the size of this heel i mean that is a heel that's got to be at least a good two two and a half inches so when you wear them you're also towering over people and you already feel so powerful in them that you just you really really feel power in these i have a lower black patent leather boot from ysl and so this time when i saw the red i was like it's time to grab a color i styled them with a pinstripe suit which is something that we will get to later that i got from them i was going back and forth between the black and this color actually but i thought this color would really make more of a moment and it's just such a good color i don't know why i am really attracted to this burgundy plum red right now, but I'm into it. I'm happy about it. They have almost like a point toe to it, which usually is something I wouldn't go for, but for some reason I put these on and I really enjoyed how the point looked. But to give you other context, I mean, this heel is no joke. But yeah, these are the Rainer boots in patent leather. And then you could really wear them so many ways. Obviously going out or to any event, they can go with all black, they can go with gray. I think they would also look good with a dark denim. To show you guys how much these really work with everything, I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on with what I have right now. But if this doesn't give you a sense of the height, I mean, this heel is no joke. But honestly, like I said, they look great with trousers. They look great with denim. So if you're not feeling like putting on an entire trouser outfit, they work great with denim. I think they're very, very versatile. And they will be glued to my feet from further notice. Moving on. Okay, maybe we do a piece of clothing now. All right. We have a rather large garment bag. <laughs> we have this amazing pinstripe suit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this has huge shoulder pads put in it. I mean, they're at least like an inch and a half thick. So you really get that dramatic like Grace Jones effect. It's also considered a short cut. The regular cut drowned me. So even though this one is a cropped cut, it kind of fits me like a normal one. This is my first YSL suit I have ever purchased and I'm very excited about it. We have the pants to match it. It's a double breasted with a large lapel. I have to just show you. I mean, as you can see, the shoulders are no joke. 
I love that my shoulders almost come to a point here. Like, I feel like a cartoon, like, villain in these with this crazy shoulder cut. <laughs> almost as if I'm, like, wearing armor. I think you could honestly just wear it even like this, like, with what I'm wearing. Just a pair of black denim and a dark top. It works. I think you could really style this so many ways. When I went out, I styled it with these burgundy boots and a white tank top, which we'll get to later. And it was pretty simple, but it was such a moment. Okay, we will keep this on while we try on a few things. Let's move on and do some sunglasses. So this pair of sunglasses, actually, I put up on Instagram to ask if people liked these because I really couldn't decide if I loved them or not, but I knew I really did, I think. But they're still in the plastic. So these are metal glasses from Saint Laurent. I really couldn't tell if they were going to be like too much or not, but I put them on and I honestly just fell in love right away. It has such a look with the reflection and the metal just being this like hard surface. It really just adds like a powerful vibe to all your looks. Like honestly, I feel like I belong in a courtroom, but every piece of this pair of sunglasses except for the lenses are metal. And I just think that's really, really cool. So yeah. All right, so putting those away, these next pair of sunglasses are a pair of aviators, but not just any aviators. I've wanted a pair of aviators for a very long time and for some reason I've always just went against them. Then I saw these on the runway and I knew that I at least wanted to try them on and let's show you why. So these may seem like just regular aviators but they are not. These aviators have a beautiful design element on the side that I honestly didn't know if it was going to look good on me at first but I ended up really loving them. Usually sunglasses are not connected down here, they're connected up at the top. And so you get this fun little slant of a design on the side. And I just think they're really funky and I think they're really unique. I think the design is really nice. I feel like a really cool pilot. But I don't know, I love any design that can be simple and classic, but kind of give you that little touch of the sides to mix things up. I think that's really beautiful design. Do we like the sunglasses? The aviators come in a silver, a gold tone, that is what these ones are, and they also come in in all black. And it was really hard for me to decide which ones I wanted, honestly. But with the metal ones being silver, I thought going for the gold might be a better decision. Hello, now do you wanna help us, huh? All right, moving on. This one is a piece of jewelry. I am a huge cuff person. So when I saw this silver slanted cuff, I knew that I needed to try it on my arm, but putting it on it gives this very just I don't know like sharp end to your wrist And I think it's just really lovely and I love how it stands out But it's nothing crazy either at the end of the day. It's just like a piece of silver. There's no like crazy wacky design It's just peace around your wrist and I think it's really elegant and really nice I think sometimes big cuffs can be really obnoxious and they can be really in your face But I feel like this has a nice subtle touch to it Okay, we have two accessories left and then a piece of clothing and first we're gonna to start with my favorite out of the two. So I love Western belts. And I also love when someone can do a Western belt really nice and keep it really clean. And so they did this Western style belt with this big clip on the front. And I don't know, I just, I put it on and I just thought it was so nice. It didn't overpower anything, but it gave you like a nice subtle shine to the midsection of your pants, I guess. So I'll put it on and I'll show you. I mean, see what I'm saying? It's not like crazy, it's not overpowering, but it just kind of gives you like a little funk and a little glitz right there. It's a beautiful belt. I'm very, very excited for this one. I've actually been waiting to wear it until after I filmed this video. And so I'm very excited. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow night to a dinner for a birthday. I feel like I always have a birthday on this channel, but I'm finally excited to whip her out. Last accessory from Saint Laurent. This one is a smaller belt for when I'm wearing like really fine trousers. Um, and it has a little clip in the front that is gold and silver. It's just a nice kind of more like evening style belt. You get a little bit of glam from it, but nothing crazy. You can also wear it around your waist if you wanted to like wear it around a coat or something like that. I think it's just a really easy, elegant belt. When I was at the YSL preview, previewing all of these clothing to decide really what I loved and what I wanted, I did try on this one black top that kind of swooped around and it was this long sleeve, almost like sweater-esque thing. And, and oh my gosh, I felt like a Jedi. It was just such a beautiful, beautiful top, but I decided against it because I wanted the suit and I'm happy I did it, but I would be lying if I said that I'm not thinking about it anymore. I also tried on a navy suit that I almost pulled the plug on instead of this one. I'm very happy that I did this one, but you guys let me know what you think. So for clothing, like I said, we have the pants to match the suit to make it a full suit. It really looks so powerful as a full suit, but what I love the most is that both the jacket and the pants can be 
totally worn separate and look amazing. Sometimes suits get a little too crazy and you kind of have to wear it like as one suit, but these really are beautiful colors, beautiful fabrics, beautiful styles. They will just work with so many things and I'm very excited about it. Moving on to the tops of clothing that we got. So both of these are low key actually the same thing really, but just two different styles. But if that doesn't explain how much I absolutely just loved them, then I don't know what will. So let's start with the t-shirt because this is the one that I knew I wanted and I didn't know that I was going to want the other version. So this is a satin silk t-shirt. If you know anything about silk, it doesn't stretch. So you can't pull it over you or anything like that. So it has this beautiful little button detail closure in the back. But the way that this drapes on the body is next level. I felt amazing. It looked amazing. And I had it on for maybe all of 10 seconds before I realized like, yes, this was coming home with me. I think the color is so beautiful. It's not a white, but it's also not so off-white that you think it's an off-white. It can read really whatever way you want. So if you're wearing blue jeans, if you're wearing, you know, like tan khaki colored pants, or if you're wearing black or gray or whatever, it really just works with it all. And I think that is so special in a garment. And so I absolutely loved this one so much that I decided that I needed the tank top version of it as well to really hone in on that powerful look when I'm feeling like I want to to be revealing and show skin. This tank top goes very deep down, but I think especially with my tattoos and things like that, it really complements it and makes it look really cool. YSL threw a party and I wore this out with this suit and the red boots. And I mean, the look was divine. Obviously, since it is silk, it is a bit unforgiving. So I do have to be very careful with these, but it's worth it. And let's just pray that I don't spill anything on it. All right, so that is clothing for YSL. I'm really happy with all the items I got. If you guys have a favorite, out of the YSL pieces, let me know. I'll also link everything below for you guys in case you wanna check anything out. I think I'll keep the belt on and maybe even the wrist cuff. Okay. I needed a little beverage. Something about me is I love San Pellegrino. I probably don't remember the last day that I have lived without having a San Pellegrino. I'm not really into the flavored ones. I really just like the natural unflavored sparkling water. All right, in honor of the mail coming in time, I think we should open that one up next. Thank you DHL for making this come in time for this video. Sometimes, I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm opening packages, I have no idea like where or what I'm cutting or like, like you know, like sometimes I'll like open them up and I'm like, oh, I tried to open it up at the complete opposite end. I feel like we should universalize boxes so that everyone knows how to open them all. So, oh my gosh, I'm very excited. I am seeing this for the very first time and I have had my eye on this product for a very long time. Okay. We have a very large and in charge La Mer box. I guess this is probably the largest box actually, not the Saint Laurent shoe one. But anyway, let's do it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so many bags. Oh my gosh, she's stunning. She's stunning. Wow. This is the medium gear bag from La Mer. And when I tell you that when this bag dropped, I had the tab open on my computer for about a few weeks. And then I refreshed it one day and I saw that it was gone. And it must have sold out, honestly, probably that first day. I just didn't notice. And I was, I was devastated. The devastation like really, really hit me here. And so then I told myself if it ever goes back in stock that I'm gonna grab it. And sure enough, I got the notification and I was able to snag it. But this bag is inspired by old camera gear bags, which I think is so serendipitous of me and of Nicholas, both being photographers. We've both been looking for a bag that we can carry around all day that can hold a small camera. And I think this is now the perfect one. It has this beautiful little top leather satchel. It has a back zip pocket for anything you need that is really private, like maybe like a passport or something if you are walking around. It has the old style like clips to open up to it where you have the full bag right there. And then you have all your easy access pockets right in here. I think it's a very chic bag. I think it's really understated, but really, really beautiful. The color is considered an espresso, but it reads almost black. Like I think you could easily wear it with black and it's not gonna really look brown, which is a plus for me. The strap is adjustable from this belt right here on the side. I don't know if I wanna keep it short or if I want it more of like a longer length and you can like wear it like over your whole body. What do we think? Do we like the bag? I can't believe that it honestly came while we were filming this. We'll set her right there to go along with the brown bag is this La Mer brown raincoat. Now I wore this last week to a 
event for Jill Sanders boutique that opened here in Beverly Hills and it was raining so it was very fitting. The amount of compliments that I got on this coat was insane. People really loved the raglan sleeve on the side. People loved you could cinch it in and obviously it kept me away from the water. The belt has a little leather bound buckle. It's just really nice details. I mean it's gonna match the brown bag so well. I mean they are both from La Mer so that kind of makes sense but you know. But the shoulder of the jacket drapes really well and usually rain coats are very constricting but this one I felt like I could really move and it just really complemented the body so well. All right let's move on. So if you don't know what my Therese is they always send you everything in these yellow colored boxes. It's always very cute and very fun. They're very easy for Christmas time because you can just put them under the Christmas tree as it is really. And you also always get a little card that tells you like who packed it and it says thank you this package has been lovingly wrapped by I do not know how to say this name. And it's not because like I know what the letters are. At least I think I do. I don't know. You guys tell me. How do you, how do you say this name? At first I thought I wanted to say Kayla, but then it wasn't. It's Hale. I don't I don't know. I do not know. Whoever you are, thank you for packaging my package. Anyway, even though the packaging is so beautiful, it does need to go to make some space. These are some shoes. If you can already tell from the all white box, you may know where they're from. These are the Emerson loafers from The Row. This is the brown suede version. I believe they call it chocolate. I have a very similar pair of their loafers in a black eel leather and they are the most comfortable, the chicest, just so easy to style loafer that I own. And so as summer was approaching, I knew I wanted something that was not so like black nighttimey and something I could wear more during the day. And then they released so serendipitously this colorway and in suede. And I was like, that's the perfect daytime loafer. They're this beautiful chocolate suede. And I mean, the detailing of them is absolutely gorgeous. The bottom is a very small little heel, just enough to give you that little ounce of height, but you also can wear them all day very easily. These are some of the most comfortable loafers I've ever worn. They take no time to break in. They're just, they're very easy and they just look great with everything. You could wear this with all white. You could wear it with black. You could wear it with brown, tan, blue jeans. I mean, anything really. They're going to be great for summer and I'm very excited about it. Next, we have another pair of shoes, also for summer. These are the Dries Van Oten. I believe they're just called leather loafers, um, but these are in the white version. They are so comfortable. They honestly kind of feel like house shoes. I remember the first time I wore them out, I felt like I was like literally wearing socks. Like I felt like I shouldn't have been wearing them out of the house, but they're honestly really comfortable. And something that I really predict is gonna be really big this summer is men in loafers with like high or funky socks and shorts. And so I thought they will really work well with that and I think that I don't know they're just really comfortable really easy you don't have to tie them they're really you know easy to slip on and just go on your way and honestly I think that's what summer is about and so these are my little house shoes from Dries Van Noten they're very cute they're understated there's not much to them but they are just really an easy pair of shoes Okay, next on the list, another bag. This one is the crossbody case from Ramoa. I have this one in silver, and so when we got it in green, I was really excited. I think this is such a beautiful green, and I think it will go really well with anything you wear, really, all summer long. I think you can do all white. I think you could do blue jeans. I think it also would look good with black trousers and a white top. But I love this bag so much because with it also being a case on the outside, which keeps everything really protected well, you have this beautiful, divided inside that honestly fits so much. You can easily fit a phone, wallet, even like a little cartridge, all of your like chapsticks and things like that. I even do a portable charger in here and it comes with a crossbody strap. But really, I mean, you're getting the quality of a Ramoa bag as an everyday bag, which I mean, if you know anything about their suitcases, they are spectacular. So to have that level of protection of a bag is pretty nice. It's all around a really great bag, especially if you are looking for an intro bag. I think it's a cool understated one. A lot of people don't think about it, but my silver one has been one of my most used bags. Next on the list is another pair of pants. These are La Mer. They are the khaki belted trouser. I absolutely love this trouser. I have them in black and I've worn them 
them so many times, but they are such a fun silhouette. They're big and baggy at the bottom. And then you also have the belt at the top that you get to play with. The seam on them kind of twists around, so you kind of get this like billowing effect on the leg. It's really, really cool. They are some of the coolest pants that I own for sure. I love styling them any way for daytime, really. You can do just like white t-shirts, you can do white over shirts, you can do, you know, any kind of sweater situation. It's really, really such a moment and there's so many different ways to style it. And finally, guys, the last on the list is this Dries Van Noten, almost like waffle knit. I've been looking for a nice black polo that's not just like a normal polo. It really gives that elevated look while still giving you some uniqueness and, and some edge to it. I'll throw it on real quick and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I love that you get like the smartness of the polo shirt, but you can see through it enough to like see tattoos and see just like a little bit of skin. So it kind of really elevates it. I'm usually not one for a waffle knit, but this one was done really well. And I think that the holes are just little enough to give you that glimpse of skin. And it's not like this big revealing garment. So it still keeps it kind of like this classy look while giving you like a little bit of like funk and fun. I definitely think you could style this so many different ways. As do I think you could really style any of these items so many different ways and I think that's where my closet is heading these days I'm not sure about you guys but I'm definitely looking for items that I'll hold on to longer and that I will wear more of with more of my other clothing instead of kind of having just one look with it all it's been something I feel like I've been gravitating to more and more and I guess I just had the realization here that it's more apparent than ever so that was my shopping haul of the last month and a big shout out to DHL who dropped that package off just in time to include it here and now we got to show you our our beautiful new bag that kind of goes beautifully with this shirt so there you go I'm really excited about these items I'm really excited about having some new pieces for summer because summer is just around the corner and it's going to be here before we know it I would love to know what you guys think about some of these pieces do you have a favorite do you have multiple favorites do you have one that you think that I should absolutely just get rid of in return I really hope not but I think if I had to pick a favorite item out of all of this even though that would be very difficult I think I'm either gonna pick the red YSL boots or the YSL YSL suit only because those were both were very big news for me but honestly everything I love you all I'm sorry like I said early in the video I'll have a ton of this stuff linked below if you're interested in any of it if you want to check it out so make sure you see what's going on in the description box this was my first shopping haul if I sucked at it let me know sorry but I kind of had a good time so thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you in the next one